Hi guys, in this video we are going to introduce the concept of a mole. Now in chemistry, a mole means something very different than this little guy that's represented on the screen here. And to appreciate this, I want to start, take a step back and talk about something that we're all very familiar with. So in general, when we count large numbers of objects, we're very familiar with using units such as a dozen, which means 12 objects, or a gross, or 144 objects, to effectively organize our counting and keep the numbers manageable. So for example, if you're going to the grocery store, you buy eggs in typically units of a dozen. So you ask for one dozen eggs rather than asking for 12, okay? Now, when it comes to atoms or molecules, it turns out that there are quadrillions of these little guys and even a little tiny microscopic speck of dust. So for example, if I take a, just a little piece of graphite here, say only 12 gram sample, just pure graphite, nothing but carbon atoms in there, right? We have some tools that we could figure out how many atoms are gonna be present in this sample. All right, and this is a problem that we're all familiar with from previous sections. So if we have uh, you know, the general strategy here, we've got a mass of the sample, right? Our, of our uh, graphite sample, and we need to ter determine you know, a conversion factor that takes us to the uh, you know, number of atoms from the mass of that individual atom. Okay, so if we go ahead and make the assumption that this entire sample is comprised of C12, carbon 12, then each atom in this sample has exactly six protons and six neutrons. So we can take our six protons per C12 atom multiply by the one AMU per proton and get our proton contribution to the overall mass. Do the same thing with the neutrons and we get our neutron contribution to the mass. And then we conclude that we have, uh, you know, each atoms weighing 12 AMU. Then we can use our conversion factor that one AMU weighs corresponds to 1.66054 times 10 to the minus 24 grams. So then we can take our 12 AMU, use this AMU to grams to conversion factor, and find out that each individual carbon atom is weighing on the order of almost two times 10 to the 23rd. So then we can go back, take our initial mass of carbon, 12 grams here, use this conversion factor that we just derived, plug it in right here, and we find that in this 12 gram sample of carbon 12, there is 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd C12 atoms, right? That's, you know, six with you know, 23 zeros after it. So a truly astronomical number and not a number that's con terribly convenient to work with. So just like we introduced the dozen in order to count eggs, for example, we need to come up with some sort of convenient number to count this truly huge number of atoms present in any sort of mac macroscopic sample of matter. And so this is really gonna motivate the definition of a mole. Okay, so here it is. One mole is equal to 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd objects. So notice, this was the same number that we obtained from looking at that 12 gram sample of carbon 12. And in fact, that is where the definition of the mole came from. And this is in a very real sense, an arbitrary number that was chosen. All we needed was a very large number uh, in order to make our description of number of atoms and molecules and macroscopic samples convenient. Okay. And so we, we said, hey, why not go ahead and just pick, you know, the number of carbon atoms in a 12 gram sample of carbon 12. So that's where it comes from. That's our definition of a mole. So just like one dozen, right, if I say one dozen equals 12 objects, right, one mole equals 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd objects. Okay. So now we have a special name that we give to this number here, that 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd value. We call this Avogadro's number. 
all right? And it's typically denoted by a capital N with a little subscript A for Avogadro. So simply put, in A then, this Avogadro's number corresponds to the number of objects in one mole of objects. And just to make sure that you've got it in your notes here, right, we talked about where this number came from, right? Okay, so now let's go ahead and look at an example. So let's say that you have three moles of eggs. Uh, well, let's, we wanna determine how many individual eggs we have given that we have three moles of them. So following our little step-by-step -step process here, we write down first what we're given. We're told that we're, we're coming in with three moles of these eggs, right? And our little plan of attack comes down to saying, hey, we're starting off with moles of eggs, but at the end of the day, I wanna get all the way over here to number of eggs. And so you have to ask yourself, what sort of conversion factor um, do I need to apply in order to go between moles and numbers of objects? Well, of course, the conversion factor that's gonna do that for us is Avogadro's number. So we can plug things in then, we'll start off with our given quantity of three moles of eggs, and this three moles of eggs, it looks like I wanted to put a couple more significant figures on there, um, is going to be right there in the numerator. And we want to then multiply by Avogadro's number so that the moles of eggs cancels out and we're left with number of individual eggs, giving us a value of 1.84 times 10 to the 24th eggs in that three moles. Okay, so let's do the same thing now, but let's map it on to a little bit more chemistry flavored problem. All right, so let's, in this problem, calculate the number of copper atoms in a 2.54 mole sample of copper. So in this case, we're given the number of moles once again, but now, and we're wanting to go from moles of that substance, copper in this case, to the number of copper atoms. And of course, Avogadro's number is then going to be uh, you know, used once again to carry out this conversion. So we can start off with our moles of copper, multiply by Avogadro's number, so moles of copper cancels out, and then you're going to be left with the number of individual copper atoms, 1.48 times 10 to the 24th copper atoms.